Hello guys and welcome to this Raid Shadow Legends video. Today I'm gonna do Magma Dragon, eh, Magma Dragon Floor 10. Uh, this is hard difficulty and I made this team to do this as fast as possible and with um, yeah, as few turns as possible as well. Because look at this, I have 10 turns taken. That's my best so far. I have an idea how I can turn up all the global leaderboards, but then I need to make a couple new builds. I think if I make it really good, I think I can reach six turns, possibly five. Possibly, it depends on my gear, but yeah, possibly five. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, jump into this one. Um, I can tell you a little bit about the champions. Uh, Little Mustani, she has a great A1 that dealing a lot of damage. Jembo, A1 dealing a lot of damage, I guess. Um, uh, and is slow. She is slow as well. Riva, she is slow as well, kind of slow. She has ally attack and a great A3, increasing at, uh, attack damage and crit rate. Foley is there for the waves and decreased defense on the boss. Martyr. Great ally, I mean, what the hell am I talking about? Great counterattack, yeah. Actually, ordering of these champions, I have to fix this. Um, let's do it like. It's a little stupid that you can't just drag them, you know? That's a little bit annoying. Let's do this and. Rila, I have to fix the AI again, god damn it. Let's start with this there, don't use it. Second wave. Opener, don't use. Here, open with this one. Right, Krila on the way is not going to do anything. Just make sure that you don't. And against the boss, I will start with this one and then this one. You will see everything is going to work in auto. Hopefully, it will be quite advanced. It depends a little bit on the first wave because. This is perfect to alive, that means he will get enough speed to launch it this way. Of course, nothing is speed tuned properly. There's a decrease defense. Really nice. Boom, boom. Okay, counter attack. <clears throat> so, yeah, basically, having people slow will make my turn order a lot slower. Okay, Limbs and it died. A little bit unlucky, but this is gonna work fine. And here comes ally attack that doesn't ally attack because she kills it. 12 turns. So, um, yeah, the way that I can get potentially 5 or 6 turns is by literally having... Let me show you. The plan is... Um, don't you... No, 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 no. I have a ray. I have ally attack from you, I have ally attack from this guy, where is he? This guy, and I have a phoenix, he has incredibly hard hitting A1, and then I have another hard hitting A1, and that's gonna be with Miss Annie, she must be the lead. So. <laughs> I haven't built this properly, so ID is Ray one shots, two first waves. That is two turns. Against the boss, she does A1. Her A1 has the potential of decreased defense. That's important. That she lands the decreased defense against the boss. Then I ally attack. And we remove the goddammit. Then I ally attack. And then I ally attack. And if I have enough damage, the boss will die. If not, then I will use play date from Lady Sani. And that might be five, six turns potentially. Of course, it, this requires a lot of gear. Um, so yeah, potentially best setup would also be if I use instead of that guy, I would use. Where is? Yeah, a second krill. Let's see, better multiplier stuff. And um, if I really have to, then I can actually do it like this. Switch you with Captain Kanzler. Um, what are you going to do then? One shot away, one shot away. When I come to the boss, decrease defense. The first Krila is going to do increase attack, increase crit rate. 
and I do counter attack, I mean ally attack, and another ally attack, and then boss will die in six turns, potentially. That's the more reliable option, so yeah. Anyways, the Magma Dragon is kind of just a damage race, at least this stage here. I'm going to try to build a proper team against higher stages as well, whenever I can reach that. So, um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun uh, boss, is pretty easy, so let's just run this, I guess. So, uh, the waves are very easy because they will die really fast. And even a fully nuke kills everything in one shot, without have decreased defense anything. And it just so shows how easy that is. And look at that, one ability from Limsani did uh, a fifth of his health bar, you know? Pretty good. And she's not in a crazy build as well. I can show you the builds after this. Yeah, yeah. So, Ella and I mean, um, counter attack is very good as well. Just in a little bit of protection, then you will find. Um, Brogni is very good, he can do Ingus attack and a shield that also protects you if you did that fusion. If this is going to be a perfect one, then he does AoE only three times against the waves. He will do A1, there's the decrease defense, luckily. Play date, boom, boom. Yeah, she didn't even crit on the second one. From the counter attacks. So, yeah. If you have someone like Skullcrusher, he will also put ally protection. Uh, and then making you survive a lot easier. So yeah, I see a couple of people sometimes die. But it doesn't matter if I lose. Uh, so then I just do it over. And boom. So yeah, let me show you the gear. Actually, for the few, fewest turns possible, you will actually want slow, very slow champions. Look at this. Little Miss Annie. 152 speed. And she's one of the fastest ones. Um, Second, well, the fastest one is Foley. I use him in the arena. Um, this is stats very low accuracy, and I need to push that up if I'm gonna land the decrease accuracy in the higher stages. So, but Krilla, very important champion here with the ally attack. She was a fusion a while back, so hopefully, you have her. Uh, 151 speed uh, with um, yeah, a lot of attack damage. She has a low crit rate, so if I need to use this first. Then I can actually build um, everyone except Ray in only 70% crit rate for this. And increase attack is also very good. At least if you're gonna do two ally two ally attacks, then this is where to use it first. Instead of three ally attacks, then putting on increase attack first is as good. But it's better because you can use the increased crit rate. So, very good right there. So, um, yeah, especially I just use three nickers, but if they're struggling, then I would put in. Um, what would I put in? Some more support like Brogni uh, and stuff like that. There are a couple things you have to be careful about. Did I use all my keys? Of course I did. Some of his abilities. You could potentially imagine that, um, what is his name? Ninja would be good, but, uh, <laughs> no, it isn't. If you place HP burn on the dragon, on his turn he will transform them into, well, oh, not on his turn, he will just transform them into, into, um, continuous heals. So he'll just heal himself. So don't use HP burn. If you're gonna use Brogni, then be sure that he will not place HP burn on his A1. Um, he's gonna um, take you some turn, maybe he's gonna do a lot of damage to you and with the burns. Yeah, things don't really care. And he's immune to stun. If you try to stun him or freeze him with the, or decrease turn meter, then he will instantly stun that champion. Uh, actually, I think, right? If I just put in. I could do this. <laughs> so yeah, that's my attempt to reach the leaderboards. I um, this is just some random builds I had from before. So I'll try and see what I can do later on. I will need a lot more silver. I used everything on the um, enchantment thing going on right there. Free to play life, yay, boy! 
uh, I don't have any shards. I opened the sacred shard uh, of uh, video uh, camera, so yeah, I didn't get anything, sadly. So, this is actually a pretty good time as well. Just the last thing you're gonna say. If you want Draco, then this is your yeah, best chance you will ever have. There's a two times to pull a legendary, and there's a ten times to get a Draco. Uh, personally, I don't need Draco. I have Lydia. She is very good. Draco is very good against Clamber stuff and some other stages, but yeah. That's gonna be it for this video. And uh, yeah, I will do some more. Um, um, what do you call it? Goddamn guides on this. Duke Tower bosses and stuff. If you want that. This one, I just cheese it with Aragon. Actually, um. I'm not gonna make a complete video, but this is a very simple. I use Drake Star to get some initial HP burns, and Paragon will solo the entire thing, thing turn off his HP. Important, prioritize, he's unkillable, and then he'll just A1, A1, A1. How do you get damage with a level 4 Paragon? Yeah, that's very simple, look at this. Very simple. This will take forever, but then I'm just gonna do the stage once, and that's it. Uh, this is the right one. Poison set. Yeah, that's right. Toxic gear. This has a set 5% chance of placing poison. Of course, you can build him with damage as well to uh, make the run faster. But this is how I do it. I can't be bothered building another team, so. Yeah. That's it. See you guys in the next one, and uh, yeah, goodbye.